Jordan. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyla. And I'm Holden. And we are the, the Dean Team. Team. And we cannot stop smiling because we are about to board the Disney Fantasy. We're doing a seven night Western Caribbean cruise. This is our first ever cruise. How are you all feeling right now? Amazing. Overwhelmed in a good way. Hungry. Skyla's in shock. I'm excited. What do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's go! Our port arrival time was 11.30, so we got here around 11, got our luggage checked in, very easy process, found a parking spot right up close. We went through security, they checked our paperwork. No line anywhere, walked no. right in. And right now they're loading groups one and two. So we got here before they even started loading any of the families onto the ship. We're in boarding group seven. We stayed up until midnight. The minute we could book 30 days out. That button. Click the button. And so we have a really good arrival time, we think. And it's so amazing to have this viewing area where we can see the ship. See the luggage go on. Yeah. yeah. That was our bag. <laughs> exactly. They are painting the sign as we speak. Since this is our first cruise ever and our first Disney cruise, I tried to do as much planning in advance as I could, reading all the websites, watching all the vlogs, and it's this crazy moment now where you've been planning and thinking about every little detail and then now it's time to have fun and so it's kind of hitting me for any of you who have never done a cruise we hope to be able to share some tips and tricks that we've learned and that we will continue to learn along the way if you've already been on a cruise you can just laugh as we <laughs> make our way along and figure things out as we go and we can't wait our first tip is that when you're planning what you're carrying on with you on the ship not what you're putting in your check baggage that you bring your wine and your beer with you so you can take two bottles of wine per adult or six beers and then other things you might want on the ship any important medications your swimsuits it's not very warm today but those kind of things make sure you have them with you it's 11:55, and they already called group seven so only 25 minutes to go from one to seven this is quick are you ready to walk through the massive mickey ears yes i'm ready to discover some uncharted magic Please welcome aboard the Sandbiners family. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, bud. Please, Fantasy, please welcome. Please, Fantasy, please welcome aboard the Hogback family. Welcome aboard the Magic family. It's Mademoiselle Minnie Mouse. And she's right please there, too. Please, Fantasy, please. What is happening? What do you think, Skyla? I think. <laughs> Whoa, magic. It opened for Let's head into Cabanas. We can see what time it is everywhere at the Disney parks. And I love these sand castles. Hong Kong, Tokyo, Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris on the end. This mosaic is gorgeous. This is my favorite part. Nemo, Dory, all their friends. Mr. Ray. Skyler, do you want some too? Is that the same thing that we usually get? Yep. Holden's been dreaming sure. about this moment. I'm home. This is the moment Skyla's been dreaming about. Yeah, yeah. All the breads. This is paradise. Fresh pizza. 
We also could have opted to do sit down dining at Animator's Palette for lunch, but we wanted to get the lay of the land at Cabana's and we knew the kids were just gonna be super excited about crab and pizza. Getting some carvery. Yeah, I gotta try it. Whoa. It's either gonna get that or that. Well, I got this, so you get this. What'd you get, Skyla? I got the chocolate marshies. But I got the raspberries. Raspberries. And I got the carrot cake. There are a lot of options at Cabanas. It's a little bit overwhelming on your first walkthrough, but the stations repeat. So you'll realize you're getting back to the same options, but there's something for everyone, which is the great part about being here. And the crab is the winner. And the desserts are really good too. We came out to check out the view. It's brisk out here. Woo, invigorating. We're on the January 14th sailing and it's in the 40s right now. It's gonna get up to 52 today. So the sail away party is gonna be chilly, but it's sunny. So we'll take that any day. That just came to life. What? Hi, Hi Tiana. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, you're so kind. <laughs> Y'all excited to be here on this group of the kids enter the lab right there. They wash their hands. Then we have Pirates Cove over here. There's a stage area and the dance floor. Holden's already in the middle of it. There's a craft studio. Lots of screens. Animator's studio, which Skyla said she wants to spend all of her time in here. Some Pixar action. Princesses. All the ducks. If Scott were a duck, he would be that one. In the Explorers Club. There's a nice media lounge to chill in. That's amazing. Are you going to spend a lot of time in there? Yeah, I'm going to finish right. it later. Let's go see the other side. This corridor takes us over to the Oceaneer Club. That was the lab. Once you enter and wash your hands on the Oceaneer Club side, another dance floor. Andy's room. Big screen, so I think there's going to be some activities over here. The gang's all here. Oh my goodness. 50 bazillion reward? That's a lot. There it goes. Magic. The kids are pretending they're toys coming out of the box. I love the Master TV. How fun to sit on Slinky Dog while watching Slinky Dog on the TV. Nothing better than that. While wearing Slinky Dog. While wearing a Slinky Dog. Ears that hold it does. I love this artwork. Brilliant. Oh, his eyes move. Yeah, when you turn the wheel. Oh, cool. Straight ahead is Star Wars Command Post. This area is awesome. Look at all the details. <laughs> what are you doing on this mission, Scott? I'm going to join the Wookiees and help them out. You're going to jump into hyperspace? Blowing your hair back. Stormtroopers coming up on the left. I think the Wookiee's gonna come up and jump at you, Skyla. Ah! <laughs> Chewy! Chewy, you silly. Are you gonna captain this ship, bud? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Holden wants to put one of these on, he said. You want to put a helmet on too, bud? Yeah. Oh, I picked it. Do you want to stay in here and play all day? Wait, what are we doing? Pixie Hollow to the left. Oh, 
Peter Pan's going in Pixie Hollow. Here's a pond. Look at all of these pixies in here. Wait a second. That's just my This area is so cozy and inviting. It's beautiful. And then it's crazy because next door is Star Wars. Super Hero Academy. Are you gonna learn about the mystic arts? I'm looking for any. Look at the door, Skyla. Can you take these anywhere? Probably. Where am I going? Going to Monument Valley. All kinds of artifacts over here. The Tesseract. Whoa. It's the Ant-Man discs. And the mask. Oh my gosh, do you think you're going to meet some superheroes? Yeah. It doesn't work for you yet? You gotta learn the mystic arts. Wait, 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 that wait. looks like some kind of code you're gonna have to break. Yeah, it's on It's on that box. Oh. It's on this box. The markings are on this. I bet you're gonna break some codes. I actually might do that. Skyla's already trying to figure it out. This is awesome. Okay, so we have the different levels. Intro to the Multiverse, Wakanda and Vibranium. Ooh, master level classes. You got it, you got it. You got to get it now. You got it, you got it. Oh. Look at the night sky. Peter Pan over here. Can you see him? This feather coming out of his cap? And then we have Wendy over here. They do open houses every day, and they said one important thing to note is that during the open houses, not everything is out that's available for the kids. So for instance, in Andy's room, the toys aren't out yet, or you know some of the crafting materials. So you're only seeing part of what's available here. There's a huge list of activities every single day. They were telling us some of their favorites, and the kids are gonna lose their minds doing all of the fun things that they have planned here. And characters come in and out throughout the day, whether it's open house or just when the kids are here. You see what's happening in there. We found our room. And that has our key to the world card in it. We're in an interior stateroom on Scott, this deck is, nine. This Come on insane. in. Come on in. We've got our seahorse. To our left is a desk area. Good size fridge to hold our wine. Nice. Nice. There are a couple postcards, which you can't even find these at Disney World anymore to send a message. Some stationery. Good morning. Oh, so you could do your um, breakfast. A hair dryer. Oh, that's a mat for your straightening iron. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That is really nice. A few cups and a lot of plugs over here, too. With the USBs as well, which is nice. Next to the desk area, there's also a door, and that's for if you had adjoining rooms, you could just pop next door. We love this magic porthole. Right now, it's showing what's outside. Hello! <laughs> the kids are checking ah, out hello. how much room there is under the bed. There must be quite a bit. The lights are beautiful with this pattern and the little Mickeys. The bedding even has Mickey on it and the Disney Cruise Line logo. How comfortable is the bed, Holden? Okay, let's try it out and let's see. Let's test. Nice. Yeah. 
There are two plugs over here and a little drawer for you. Some nice artwork. Those. They're all waving to the ship. Goodbye. We're going to sail away soon. There's our sofa over here, which will transition into bunk beds for the kids. I believe our room host will do this for us, but this is how easy it is for the bottom bed to go down and then the other bed just comes down from up yeah, it comes here. Straight down, I think. Some very cool stamps. I like that a lot. There are a couple of hangers up here, and then our restroom is to this side. Nice size shower with the H2O products. Some really nice Mickey towels everywhere. You have your commode and the sink area with more H2O products. Little makeup towel. So standing in here, I'm five foot ten. So if you're six foot, you're definitely gonna be hitting the top here. You'd so. be right there. Yep. You'll feel like elf in the shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says caution watcher step because there is a step up into the bathroom area. And I don't know if all the rooms are the same, but a ton of hangers, which I put my clothes on hangers coming just not knowing. And a little safe. Laundry bag. There's a lot of room in this closet. Inside the closet, you have the ladder, and that's gonna be for the bunk beds. This is so cool. It says, welcome aboard Dean family, and it's playing supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> just like magic, one of our bags just appeared. It is almost 2.30. We were able to get into our rooms at two o'clock. We are decorating our door, which is a huge thing on Disney Cruise Line. And so we love the movie Up. And so we made the Up house. And then each of the badges has our favorite character. So Scott has Wally. I have Peter Pan. Skyla has Dolores. Dolores. And then Holden has Wreck-It Ralph. And we also made it, I'll show you the back of one of these. There's a, there's a girl on so that they will light up when it's dark. So we will show you later on what it looks like when it's lit up at nighttime. Very excited. Thank you, Scott, for helping me do this because he figured it all out and I just cut out balloons. Fish extenders are also a huge thing on Disney Cruise where you sign up in advance via a Facebook group or whatnot and you give each other gifts. We're gonna do what's called pixie dusting where you just choose some rooms and you give them little gifts. And so we have this bag here in case we get pixie dusted. If we don't, that's okay too. But on the Facebook group, we found a lot of state rooms who were just doing pixie dusting. So I wrote down their room numbers and we're gonna go pixie dust people later. So I'm excited about that too. Here's the finished product of our door. What do you think? I like it. Other people have really cool setups too already though. Yeah, like look, look at that one. They're lit up over there. Our neighbors are already getting their fish extender gifts. They have banners up celebrating birthdays. We did not opt for a veranda or one of the bigger staterooms, but honestly, I really wanted a magical porthole. Those just look so cool. Our family is used to staying in tiny cabins and yurts and all kinds of camping situations. We stayed in an RV, Airbnb on the way here. We are totally fine with smaller spaces. I think there's plenty of space for our family, but it just depends on your comfort level. It's definitely a cheaper option. We're not that kind of family where we would want to spend a lot of time in the room. We definitely like to go out and do things. And Scott and I kind of thought if we wanna go and look at the ocean, we can go on any deck of the ship and do that. So we'll let you know at the end what we think about this decision, but so far we're thrilled with the room. Hi Pluto! We're so excited to see you! <laughs> oh my goodness! He's the happiest pup! Yes! Kisses! The king and queen of the fantasy! On their thrones! Hey, Mrs. Sansbury, if you're watching this, I'm sitting proper! Legs crossed like a lady. There's already a line of guest services. It's 3.15, we're all checked in, got all of our bags, met our awesome neighbors, they're so nice, and the kids wanted to come to D-Lounge to do a family activity, so we are gonna head in. The kids are making some door hangers. This is one side of mine. And HD, then... and then we've got the Pixar lamp. Skyla made a Pixar ball and one for Pirate Night. We got our first drink of the day. It is a Paradise Punch. It's got vodka, Malibu, sour mix, and some cherry cordial. Our pretty first drink. This is delightful. 
It even matches my nails. We're in the Buena Vista Theater. We found our spot for the mustard drill. We all have to be here at four o'clock and then we get to do the sail away party. This is actually not a bad place to be for muster. We just get to sit in a theater. We're getting ready for the sail away party. Yay! People in the pool over there. It's like 50 degrees right now. So glad we did it. No line. There they are. There's Scott and Skyla. Going around the back. They're waving. There goes Holden. Woo! <laughs> this is a slower one. 
sun setting. Everyone saying goodbye. You can't really tell, but our door is lit up now. So exciting. We got dressed after the pool and the aqueduct, and now we're gonna go see some acapella. We are just admiring everybody's staterooms. Look how cool this is. Look at these, amazing. And look, Eva. Eva, and we got a pencil. That was so kind. In our Facebook group, this must have been the family who was making all of these magnets for everybody. They are awesome. And they have a Buzz and Woody on their door. So they said on the floor, an easy way to remember, the, the point of the star points to the front of the ship, or forward, and then the two go to the aft, in case you get lost or turned around on which side it, you're on. Guess what? And also, to remember starboard and port, second star to the right, if you're thinking of the front of the ship, starboard and port. Guess what? What? I'm still gonna get lost. Yep. Minnie's meeting and greeting. to get a treat. This looks so good. Nice. Watching the sunset. Some charcuterie. Mm. Listening to some music. Not this a bad first night. Life. Mm -hmm. We're gonna head into the Walt Disney Theater to see some acapella. Are you ready for this? It's our first show on a cruise. Getting ready for the show. Kyle and Holden wanna be all VIP over there. Look at this kid. I thought it was really cool of how they did a very like different variety of songs and how they focused so, a big part of it on the beatboxer and how he does all of it. It's crazy. crazy. Their voices were incredible. And they did a whole Encanto medley. They did Descendants. And then it was really sweet. Two of them, who were the singers out of the five, were having an anniversary, and he dedicated a song to her. That was really sweet. So happy we went. That was awesome. It was like a 45 minute show, but it went by really fast. One, two, three. Now, can you do like this back to back? Back to back. Perfect. One more. Now, look at your hands. It looks so nice. After the show, the kids asked if we could snack again, but it was really chilly out on the deck. So you can go into cabanas. Even when it's not open, it's very quiet. So we've had a nice little snack before dinner. We're gonna pop in and check Sweet On You. Look at Goofy. They have some specialties for Pixar. Oh, I love these. They're so beautiful. Look at the unicorn one. Andy Strawberry. Look at this Anger chocolate dipped Oreo. These are adorable. They have macarons, Skyla. Sheriff Rice Crispy, Edna Marshmallow Stick. These all look really good too. And this is the gelato. Oh, there's, oh, look at that. What was I thinking? This is the side you want to be on. Mango and coconut. Oh my gosh, look at that mixed berry. We may need to come back and get a signature someday. Look at how cool these are. Wow. And look, Mickey and Minnie are sharing a milkshake. It is brisk out here. The people are still swimming.
very good. There they are. I love this one. So that's um Ruby and the Duster. Dexter, um Foxwood, Mrs. Potts, and Chip. Got it. We're looking over our menus. The kids are already coloring. Right by Cinderella. You're not coloring, you're figuring out puzzles. We opted for the later dining, which is at 8.15, and- I'm hangry. We are very hungry right now. <laughs> we wanted to go see the show first and have more time to do things. So I'm happy we picked this one, but we were very hungry. I'm not scrambling to get done with stuff in the day. Yeah, we have a lot bigger chunk in the middle of the day. We can tell looking around, there's definitely a lot more adults at this dining and less littles, for sure. We're very excited about the fact that you can get as much of everything as you like. So we're gonna sample a few different things. I like that they have these lighter note offerings too. It looks like a Cinderella carriage. Warm French country bread with an olive spread. That's so cute though. Holden got some escargot. Let's see, bud. That's good. Yeah. It's good. Are you gonna try it? Holden also got the what? shrimp. The aftertaste is You don't like the aftertaste? Scott also got the shrimp. Is that what that is? Shrimp and lobster. Shrimp and lobster. Duck pumpkin. Duck. He got the escargot. And I got some of the brie. Focus down the cheese. Whoa, that's a big cheese pull right there. French onion soup looks good. My favorite appetizer was the French onion soup. I could have had two of those. I ate every single bite. I would say the bakery is my favorite. Escargot was good. The shrimp, it was fine. I mean, it's just yeah, chilled it was shrimp. Good. The piece of lobster was the size of a quarter. So I was under impressed with that. I thought it would be more lobster. For me, the brie was not hot. It was warm, but it wasn't. Warm I and like greasy, things but to good. Be piping hot. So yeah. I have the lamb on my plate, and Scott has That's the nice. duck. Holden got some seafood pasta. I really liked the duck, mm -hmm. and I liked the veg on the side, honestly. The lamb was good, yeah. but I, I preferred the duck. I love how fancy the dessert menu is. Holden got the strawberry shortcake. Oh, can I see what it looked like before you eat it? Very nice, okay, you can eat it now. It's Sunday. Thank you. Some gold flake. Good. Yeah. It's 10 o'clock and we're back at the Oceaneer Club for another open house because they're having a special thing called Once Upon a Time. Okay. And since it's open house, the parents get to come too. Leave the horn, sing the words, see if we can turn it into a coach. Let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. Bippity 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 bippity. Bippity. Oh! <laughs> oh. Bippity. Everything was perfect! <laughs> well, not everything. elevator and it did not disappoint. Look how cool! Buzz and Woody! Oh! And here we are. It was fun to get to go to Oceaneer Club and hear Cinderella tell her story and then it was really fun to drop the kids off. And walk away. <laughs> in the Oceaneer Lab. They wanted to play a game that was there called Gaga Ball so we'll find out from them what that was like but we got to come down into the atrium and there's nobody here. Yeah, it's like three it's people walking so around. It's so brilliant. This is fabulous. This is the time to come take your photos with the mini statue and anything mm -hmm. you want to do, for sure. We just picked up the kids 
president, you made everything. All the characters. I made Pluto. Skyla made Buzz, Forky, Alien, and Woody. You also, oh, and you made Jesse earlier. And, and I made Jesse earlier, so now I got the Toy Story crew. Did you play Gaga Ball? No. You didn't? What's the dog from Coco's oh, name? Oh, God. Oh, let us know in the comments. We can't think of it. Do you guys know the dog from Coco? I've still never seen Coco. Dante. Dante. Oh, thank you. Leave it Dante. to Skyla. One of the things that you have to do on Disney cruise ships is look for ducks. Ducks. And a lot of times they're normal size rubber oh. ducks. But your dad found teeny ones by the Oceaneer Club after we dropped you off. So we're going to let you rehide them. Holden hid one for room 9076 to find. That's perfect. <laughs> Take two. Oh. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> did it. Mission accomplished. Okay, let's go to our room. What did we get in the room? We got a slime. How fun. How fun. And you got some chocolate. Sweet dreams. We also got this really awesome Pixar Day at Sea Cling in our room. And the bunk is up. Yay! Holden's gonna be up top. You're gonna rock to sleep. And those stars. Yeah, and do you see who's in the stars? If you look really closely. I think I see Wendy. A Wendy bird. There's Peter. And who else is up there? John and Michael. John and Michael, that's so cool. There's a hidden light up here. It's not really hidden, but we didn't see it at first. You can read in bed. Yeah. How nice. And there's a curtain you can pull across so you could separate the bigger bed from the bunk beds. Yeah, now, that's as far as I'm going. Now you have your own room. Yeah. Also, they bundled all of our power cords for us. That was an amazing first day on the Disney Fantasy. We are all very tired now. <laughs> we are going to sleep so well. The ship is just going to rock us to sleep. We can feel it moving but everyone's been feeling good. I mean, we can tell that the ship's moving. Can you all tell? Daddy yeah. and I can tell. No. Yeah. You can't tell? No. I can tell. Okay. It just feels like a floating hotel. Floating really, really, really fun hotel. Yeah, I like that. It's, yeah, it's true. My first thoughts is just that it's magical. Everyone is so kind. The people we've been meeting along the way, we've met so many awesome people who have been there to give us tips already. What was your favorite part of today? Meeting Goofy and the acapella group. They that were awesome. Cool. What about you, Holden? The acapella group and meeting Goofy. For me, it was definitely the sail away party. And when that horn blasted, I got tears in my eyes. You teared up too. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. And also the moment of just stepping on the ship and realizing that we're really here for a week. It's sinking in. We're, we had our first full day. And tomorrow is Pixar Day at Sea. Gonna we're going to meet so many Pixar characters. You're wearing Coco on your jammies right now. So lots of Pixar characters and special events. We cannot wait. But for now, we're going to get some sleep. So thank you so much for coming along with us. And we'll see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring time!